they've got huge tower kill potential. So X game, they have to somehow win through the lanes, and means that they're gonna be sacrificing a Corolla. From Tinker and the disruption. Split Earth to set it up, so... Well, Smoke Gank from X Game KZ. They'll try to make a move, but the fight in the A is oh, right now. Wow. Jump in, try to go on the left track, but a quick disruption from Boba. He's ready for this one. Now purging up Stalkat. He doesn't have that cloak you wanted him to have, and well, he will go down. Now, caught on the back lines. He'll fall as well. EGM's just tearing him a new one. With the stolen Crypt Swarm, but oh. can't be stopped. Maybe the wards will turn this. Does more trap high cat. Well done by what a fuck up. EGM, popping the Aegis, will come back as a second route and go at things momentarily. And See if he can make his way out. Cot holding his own for now. In fact, nukes him down to the lose EGM. Tinker overextends. They do take the tower, but still, so you've got Quake for a lot of gold. And Ness is going in. He wants five that tries to earn and survive. Can't do it. Is he going to pick up the double kill? He's diving hard for this one. Stampeding towards Mulba. A few more right clicks. He's close. He's almost there. He hasn't got it yet. He finally finds the kill. The Sing Sing Yule Sets are not enough to save him. Now, trying to turn on Stall Cat. will throw out a Crypt Swarm. Ain't that first smoke coming in? Then they can, it will connect. Double Edge there as well. Not enough to finish off the Prophet. Grave up in time. The Blink Stomp gonna come through right with the Ice Blast. But will it happen? There we go. Oh, they got him now. <laughs> he will end up going down. Well, but tries to turn this one though. He's got a purge. He'll drop it now. This one is still available. Not throwing it out just yet. And well, dropped low by the stolen crypt storm. Not killed off, but it's gonna cool down momentarily. Ah, oh, he's just out of range. Can't quite get the kill. Meanwhile, in the river, Sing Sing, Invis, and scouting this one out, looking to join the fray. And in fact, Ooh. they've seen him. They saw him pick up the Invis. I guess they knew he was coming. Drop the wards on Sing Sing. Surrounded, but not dead yet. The wards will finish the job. Gonna be pursued, and doesn't have the blink, and is taking lots of damage from Quake of the Wolves, as well as Necros. Will it be enough to finish him off that blink? In three, two, there is the Shackles, and uh, he still dies to the Warrior. And they attempt for all. Maybe enough to turn this one around. Getting the like, it would not be a bad trade, and Quakefa gets the double kill. That's not too good, and... Well, no. They try to chase him down, but he's alive for the time fast. being. 20 HP. Stalkat waiting for that attack. blink dagger, but one more necro hit will prevent it. Pycat joins the fray now. A little medical assistance. Oh, no. Keeps him alive. Nice. Graved at the last second. Perfect timing from Pycat. Survives and Koikfa. Oh. Well, only for so long. <laughs> now he falls, but still. Nice play. Looking for the Stalkat kills while he'll be purged up. Brought down two and an absolute bloodbath on the top play. Three heroes for next game KZ. The check down bottom. Meanwhile, oh yeah, there's a death prophet in this attack. game. Not to mention Diabolic Eating to level 4. And on that note, the tower is nearly dead. HF Apparition will bring Sing Sing low. Won't kill him off, but he will Yule to try and dodge some of this damage. He's going to be That's close. a mistake. One That's a huge mistake. The job. Can they get it off? Yes, they will. What a fucker connects. And EGM charges in. Caught there to turn this one. Ward's drop. And Tinker are just drastically overextending. Up some good items to, to progress towards the mid game, but uh, it's already there for the side of Team Tinker, and they're just kind of playing games with them. So, right now we do see the defense up top. What a fucker looks to try to kill off EGM, drops the wards, there's the shackles, but isn't microing the wards for the first waves, and he's just dying to the left track! <laughs> Oh, he does get the boba kill? No. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he go get in the end. Man, just TP in from elbow. So this tower dead. The real question is, can they hang on to that? The answer is probably not. We'll try for it now with a great double edge stop. Initiation is coming out from Skullcat, but the follow-up just isn't quite there. The ghost about to return to Sing Sing, and, well, still alive for the time being. Disruption. Any follow-up for this one? Not quite. The Centaur will fall. He tried to dive into the fight, but had no backup. The wards were thrown outside of the base and just won't stop them. They just can't keep Tinker out. Charging in once again. Well, the Centaur rides right back. He'll try to get for another charging in with the Nick Sing Sing. He's one auto attack away from losing the Aegis. He will. Whatafucka, back to the fountain, kept alive for the time being. The stolen grave from the Rubik making the difference there, but it just doesn't keep them out. Tinker just keep on going in, and now Stalker, this is going to be a dieback for the Centaur. It looks bad. Last on top of it, we'll see Sing Sing being the target of choice. Ward to a drop, kept keeping Stalkhead in position, but he already keeps his initiation at least for now, and he makes his way out. EGM, Poppy, BKB, low though, the Ward's printing him down quickly, while they try and force him off the fight. The BKB like it, not in old form, it's down for six seconds, they don't need it. Sing Sing finds the first kill of the fight, and it won't be the last if X Game KZ try to defend. They pretty much have to. Thrown up in the air by the Sing Sing, you will now drop down straight into a EGM stun. Stalkhead blinks and just melts to the ghosts. Oh, Death Prophet, it's like an absolute great trade. Now Bulba, chasing Bulba, and it's just clean up at this point. The GG's come out. X Game KZ. It was always going to be rough if they didn't have a good lane stage. They didn't have one, and Sing Sing tops it off with an Ultra Kill. 
Absolutely. And this is the second time in a row we've seen the carry less rack, essentially, the tri -lane carry less rack come out on top by far. Just having huge amounts of momentum behind them and really showing what this hero can do. Adds a lot to the death ball push lineups and in general just fits very well into the metagame. Took a little bit for him to be kind of solidified in that, 